If you're replacing a 3G modem with a 4G modem and it's inside a machine, once you get to that particular modem, you're gonna put the new one in its place. You're gonna notice you might not have the same amount of connections. Your antenna might only have two connections and that's fine. You just hook them up like this, each one, and leave this terminator plugged in. That's a terminator there. You only use the two that you have available for your antenna. Once you get the antenna hooked up, if you have an extra one, hook it up. Take the terminator off and hook it up to that. You may have a Wi-Fi connector also if you have a, an antenna with the four connections and just hook it up to this one here. If you only have two, just put them in these two here. Leave this terminator in place, please. And that comes with the modem. And then you're gonna hook up your ethernet cable. It's gonna be a round connector from your other one. It'll have a round connector on it. We wanna put in the H2 connector. That's the hook to your display. So you get the adapter cable from us, hook it up. Hook the other end up to the cable that you unhooked from the modem and that'll go right to your display to send your data to the modem and of course connecting this black connector to, to power it up should be good to go let us know when it's all connected and give us a serial number that's right on the modem itself take a picture of it and we'll make sure it's associated to your machine